Um, so, uh, a little Saturday morning hangout. Thought I would uh, create a character in Icons. Uh, they have a really neat, um, Steve uh, Kenson has a really neat uh, random, randomization uh, way to create um, uh, characters in this. And uh, I thought it'd be fun to do it together. I have yet to do it using the random system, but, um, they've got some neat, he's got some neat ways to randomize it, but then allow you to make adjustments to it and so on and so forth. I, uh, was just diagnosed last Tuesday with coronavirus and, uh, starting to feel symptoms this morning. So I've slept most of the day already, even though it's two o'clock. Um, but I'm up now, got a little bit of energy and I thought it'd be fun to hang out and actually have some human contact. So let's make a character uh and icons so let's set this to view single page and let's go right to hero creation and let's go through the steps so first phase one origin so we're going to do uh, roll a 2d6 and let's figure out our origin so we got a three so we are trained. The hero is a highly skilled individual. Any powers actually come from super superior training or specialized equipment. That's kind of cool. So let's go here and let's add text. And let's say here we are trained. Here, let's change that font size here da, 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 da. let's go down to 14 oh, nothing like watching a guy format on a live stream super exciting hey troll but yeah uh this is this icons uh um rpg that i picked up um i'll be interviewing the uh creator it's the same guy who created masters uh mutants and masterminds um so i bought Bought the book, um, and it's it's pretty slick. It's fun. Um, I figured we would have, uh, I would have fun reading it, at least just you know, even if it's just researching for the um, uh, for the pod. But oh, nice, very cool. All right, so we've got a trained superhero. So our guy is not any anything that we end up with that is actually supers. Um, we're going to associate it with that being actually, um, some sort of gimmick. So this is going to be more the, the Batman, uh, type, type hero. So that's cool. All right. So let's see what else we got here. All right. So if you're creating your hero without, without random roles, either choose an origin and apply its modifiers. Oh wait, I didn't see the modifiers. Uh, see devices and powers chapter the character gains two additional specialties and can choose to trade a power for two more specialties so see do i have a note section on here i don't um so let's just do this um i'm gonna highlight this for now copy it and then let's put it um let's put it in the portrait section here so that we can remember to do that um so all right cool so that'll help us remember to do that all right so there's there's the um thing all right so now level determination all right roll the following table to determine the levels for abilities when called to do so so what is our, well, okay, that's, let's take a look here. Hold on. Phase two attributes. Roll once in the level. Two. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll our, um, let's go ahead and roll our prowess. All right. Our prowess is going to be six. So that's going to be a level four. All right, let's check our coordination. I can't see it because of my big head, but I got a, a seven. So good coordination. Let's see what my strength is. <laughs> Three, okay. <laughs> 
I'm not super strong. <laughs> Let's see if I'm smart. <laughs> Let's go with intellect. Also a three, so not, not super smart either. <laughs> We're coming somewhere. How about my awareness? An 11. Oh, wait, no. That, wait, wait a second. I'm, I'm screwing up. I rolled a seven, so that's actually, that coordination is actually a five. I'm not, I forgot I wasn't doing it on the table. I roll a three, it's actually worse. It's a level two. And this is a level two. It's even worse. I wasn't even looking at the table. Um, all right. So we rolled an 11, which gives a seven. So apparently my awareness is through the roof. And then for my willpower, we rolled a six. So that gives us a four willpower. All right. So now... Roll once on the level determination for each attribute and record a resulting level for it. If your hero's total attribute levels after adjustments for origin. Um, okay, so that's all right. Are less than 20. So I don't think it is. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, it's 24. You can discard the hero and start over. You can choose to swap any two attribute levels after you've determined them. For example, if you roll a strength of three and awareness of seven. All right, so that's good for us to know. So we can swap those if we need to. Um, let's keep going. All right, so now we get to roll. Let's see how many powers we are going to get. We got a five, so we're gonna have three powers. So let's go ahead and say one, and then we're gonna say two, and then we're gonna say three powers. All right, so now, once you've determined the number of powers for each power on the table to determine the character specific powers, after rolling for powers, you can apply extras and limits, including substituting extras for rolled. All right, so let's roll on our 2d6 to figure out what our three powers are. We got a three. So our first one is going to be mental. <laughs> Widen that out. What the hell? Oh, sometimes I just absolutely hate. There it is. Thank you. Okay, mental. All right, our second power is going to be a nine. Are, am I customizing the character sheet? I, I This is just a character sheet I bought off Roll20 for like a buck. Um, so I'm just doing it inside of the PDF. <laughs> So now I'm just adding stuff. Um, so this is nine. Alteration. I don't know what that is exactly. But that's my second power. Alteration. All right. And then three is going to be... My third power is also going to be nine, which I already got. So let's re-roll it. Um... Or do I re-roll it? Let's see here. Maybe I get two alteration powers. I can. So we're going to have two alteration powers. Alteration. So I've got a mental, an, alt an alteration, and a third and a third one's an alteration. And we're not to specialties yet. All right. So let's move on. All right. So now i got to go into my little app here. And let's get, whoops, no. Okay, and then let's add a just a regular D6. All right, so first we're going to, let's do our mental power. So let's go down to mental. Where's mentals? Here we go. What mental power am I going to get? Four. Emotion control. Okay. 
All right, I'm annoyed. Is this set as a bolted list? Because I don't want it to be. Why isn't it letting me? Oh, I'm so annoyed. Thank you. All right, emotional control. All right, let's go to back to our alteration. Are you allowed to swap the stats after you learn the powers? I believe so. Um, if I understand correctly, I don't. I didn't see anything, Jim, that said that I couldn't do that. And it seems to make sense to me that you'd want to, maybe as one of your final things, swap those out. Because it's possible after I do um, my specializations and things like that, that, you know, that would change. I could be wrong, though, Jim. I could be wrong. Um, I may have just assumed that, and I shouldn't have. We'll see. Um, if it's a mistake, it won't be the first mistake I make. Um, all right, I'm going to get obsessive about alteration. Alteration. But I want a space. Oh, you were calling him say, all right, so let's forget our powers then. So hold on. Um, so, I, all right, let's go with that, Beta. That might be true. Um, I honestly don't know. But I, let's go with what you say because I guarantee you know more about this than I do. Um, so, um, is there anything I would have wanted to swap? And I can only swap two. I really hate the two intellect or the two strength. My prowess is four. My coordination is five. So I'm feeling he leans more towards strength. So let's take the two of strength and let's switch that with a four of strength. So that way I'm not a total weakling. And let's just say he doesn't have a whole lot of willpower. All right, so let's go with that. Um, all right, so let's go back here. Uh, I want another space after this. I don't want it to be numbered. Thank you. All right. I'm dying to see what the... I'm, it'll be interesting to see what we do here with alteration. All right. So if I look at the alteration powers, and remember, this person's trained, right? Oh, so... Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So let's roll the first D6. And this is going to be on this table, this first one. And it's going to be three. So all, I got an alter ego. I'm not sure what the benefit of alter ego is. <laughs> we'll have to read it. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see what my other alter uh, alteration is. All right, so my other one, what category? What's the first D6 roll? Is a five. It's going to be down here. Interesting. Hey, Haunted Miniatures, how are you? You guys can't see it because of my big head. That's a four. So power mimicry. Interesting. Uh, I'm doing all right, man. I got the freaking coronavirus. I got tested on Tuesday, uh, and I have it. Um, have been pretty much symptom-free uh, until this morning. So my en energy levels dropped considerably. I pretty much have slept all day. Um, and uh, uh, just got up maybe an hour ago. Um, so got some energy levels, and I'm isolating, of course. So my wife and kid are in a separate part of the house. I'm up here on the third floor which nobody goes to anyway. Um, so I figured I would do this and hang out with you guys and gals. So, all right. So we got mental, emotional control, alter, alteration, alter ego, and alteration power mimicry. And so far, yeah, man, she had it. She, uh, we found out she had it last week and we isolated and either I caught it before we realized she had it and it just, my test was delayed or, um, uh, 
um, or I or our protocols weren't good enough, and I picked it up from her. Uh, don't know which. Doesn't matter. The key the key is my daughter hasn't gotten it yet. She still tests ne- has tested negative, so that's good. Uh, Beta, you had it back in October. Oh, please don't tell me that, man. If I lose my taste and smell, I'm gonna be super bummed because I love to cook. Um, part of the reason I quit smoking was so I could get better, get my taste and smell back um, to full. Um, so let's hope that uh, I, I feel bad for you. Is what I should say, Beta. All right, so we have got we've got our powers. I don't know what they mean yet, but let's keep going. All right, phase four specialties. Now remember, I gained two additional specialties and can choose to trade a power for two more specialties. So if I decide one of these powers don't, aren't good for me, I can trade it more. So first, let's see what specialties I get. So let's add another D six. I wish you I wish you could right click. I'm not crazy about this die app, but it's exactly what I paid for. So uh, which is nothing. All right, so um let's roll our two D6 and figure out the number of specialties we have. We got four. So we get one specialty, but we already know. We already know that I'm going to get two more. So I'm going to get one. One S, two S, three S, four S. All right. So I get one specialty. Or wait, no. Did I give myself too many? Yeah. So I'm going to get three specialties total, right? Because I rolled for one. And then I get two more because I'm trained. Oh, I need to roll levels for the powers. All right, let's do it, Jim. So let's go back to our levels. All right, let's check our levels for mental, emotional control. We got a nine, so it's a six. All right. Alter Ego. A 10. So that is also a 6. I have no idea what that means. It's pretty funny. Uh, I, like this, I like this challenge, though. All right. And then how about Power Mimicry? I have a feeling that I'm going to want this one to be big. It's also a 6. All right. Oh, yeah. This I'm having fun with the troll bait. Um, the system. I I did a review video or a stream not too long ago. If you want to go check it out, kind of did my first take on it. It looks like it looks like a mix of kind of fate and the old TSR uh, Fazrip uh, Marvel superheroes. Um, it seems super light, super fun. They talk about how easy the character creation is. Um, and, you know, I one of the things that I do is I have a group of guys come out for a week to a campsite and we play games. And what has become happening over the last several trips is we do a, a role-playing game at night. And this seems like something that would be perfect for a future trip. We're doing Blades in the Dark for the trip in March. Um, but maybe in the fall we can do this one because it looks uh, super light. Uh, can you shorten the roller up to leave the uh, right corner blank? Um, like that. Does that work for you, Jim? All right. So that way my big head doesn't get in the way. All right. So there we got our levels. Now I want to go and see where I missed that on the powers phase. When you determine the number of roll for each power and follow the table to determine the character specific powers. After rolling for powers, you can apply extra limits. Okay. But where does it tell me that I was supposed to write? It doesn't tell me to do the levels. All right. Once you've determined the number of powers, roll for each power in the following table to determine the character specific powers. After rolling for powers, you can apply extra limits. 
Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm sure it would have told me that eventually, and I had to do it eventually. All right. So specialties. Um, select specialties from among those described in the specialty section of the rules as you see fit. Alternately, you can roll for each specialty. I think we're going to roll for it. Um, proportional specialties. Rather than rolling for the number of specialties your hero has, subtract the number of the hero powers from six and give your hero that many specialties. So that would have been kind of cool. All right, so let's keep going. That's specialties. All right, so let's roll for specialties. So I want to... How do I'm so annoyed? What does this thing do? That's just a lot. And I what, what stinks is I can't erase I a die anyway. I'm bitching about a free dice roller. All right, so let's first roll our first specialty a six. So it's gonna be one of these three underwater combat. That sounds silly. <laughs> I'm Aquaman. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, under. Oh, my God. I wish. I don't know why. The, this. I wish this person who had made this had made it form fillable. It would have, oh, my God. It would have made my life much easier. There. Okay. Underwater uh, combat. Specialty one. All right. Specialty two. First die. It's going to be the, a two and a four. Leadership. All right. And my next specialty... It's going to be four, then five. Power. Okay. I don't know what that means. All right. So, to bring us back, we've got a trained superhero. Um, I can trade in one of these powers for two more specialties. I'm going to hold off on that after I look at the powers. And so far, uh, my prowess is four, my coordination is five, strength is four, and six, just so you know, six is the highest level That's for a normal human being, so like Captain America, well, I wouldn't be Captain America, Batman's strength would be, the highest could be a six, right, because he doesn't have anything that increases his strength, unless he's got one of those funky suits on. Um, so it means the only one that's beyond, and I think three is what's normal, um... For uh, like for like a normal human, I think to uh, two or three, I can't remember. Uh, but so awareness is my biggest attribute, and that's superhuman. So I'm gonna have to come up with something mechanically that justifies his awareness. I've got mental emotional control, alteration uh, alteration alter ego, and alteration power mimicry, um, which we don't know what that is yet. All right, so we have done our specialties. Um, Phase five descriptions, come up with a description of what your hero is like, particularly considering the hero's places of origin, childhood. All right. So. All right. All right. So now, now, all right. So let's go to the table of contents. Let's go look at these powers and these specialties. All right. So I was kind of hoping, I would think you would have that in the character creation, but I, I could see we're keeping it consolidated in there is fine. All right, so let's go to powers. Looks at superpowers and icons. Uh, alteration powers, change or transform the character in some fashion. And then mental, expand the capabilities of the mind. Okay, power groups, some Powers are actual groups of powers with similar effects. Okay. When using some powers requires an action. All right, I understand that. Powers work on the five distances, personal, okay, based on distance. All right, duration, test, okay. In addition to their basic effect, you can have one or more extras. 
These are extra things you can do with the power from extending to the basic effect. Each power is listed with the main extras associated with it. You can use extras. During hero creation, you have the option of substituting extras for rolled powers on a one-for-one -one basis. One extra for an existing power takes the place of one rolled power. Oh, so I can drop a power for an extra. That's interesting. Okay, so let's see if we can't. Standard extras affects others. You can affect other people. Okay, broadcast. All right, so, oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, so let's go through. I want to see, where does it give me my powers? Alter Ego. Alter Ego lets you transform into an entirely different alternate character. Create a second character as your Alter Ego. The new character automatically has one fewer power to account for this. The GM may require certain abilities, notably origin and mental abilities, to remain consistent between the two characters. But this does not have to be the case. If your hero simply has an ordinary human identity with no powers, that is a challenge. Uh, rather than, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so that's my alter ego so that I can turn into another thing, which doesn't really fit with trained. Uh, so I might end up dumping that. Um, let's look, uh, that's alter ego. So next up is going to be emotional control. So let's find emotional control. All right. Emotional control can exert control over how a target feels, placing a temporary emotional quality of your choice on the target, such as terrified or enamored that you may activate it for free so long as it lasts choose a target in visual range and make an emotional control versus awareness test all right all right so i can make people scared happy all right so mind twisting of some sort let's look at what power mimicry look is miss it mimicry there it is power mimicry lets you touch another character and copy their powers including ability seven or higher um but like nightwing taking over for batman he's not quite the same as either of them oh yeah that's true you could argue that nightwing transformed into batman i i i hear you all right so this alike gives me some way to absorb powers all right, so I'm going to I'm going to make the call. I'm going to get rid of this. And do I get rid of it for an extra on mental and power mimicry? Or do I do it for two more specialties? I think I'm going to do it for two more specialties. So we're just going to have two powers. Let's go back to specialties. And let's get two more specialties. All right. All right. So two more specialties we're going to get here. All right. So we've got six down here. Maybe I'll get underwater combat again. Uh, six, one technology. Okay. Don't know what that means. Really not exactly sure what specialties are, but. And two, I get tech. Oh, two is up here. I already got leadership. So I'm going to re-roll it as a five. Two science. Okay. So the question I have is do I have the ability to change or swap specialties? <clears throat> Does not appear to be the case. Okay. Okay. 
Here's all right. So the qualities is something I'm going to do last because those are kind of like my power words that I use, like in Agon. Um, and I still don't know exactly what my character is. I can get rid of this, right? No. All right. What are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? All right, so let's see what else there is, if there's any other changes we're going to make. I'd like to see what these specialties are. Where can I figure out what these specialties mean? There we go. Specialties. Having a specialty grants a plus one bonus when making tests related to that specialty. For example, a character with pilot. All right, so if I do something related to leadership, power, technology, or science, that's going to give me a plus one. Um, you can devote additional specialty choices to the same specialty and gain a bonus beyond the basic level. For example... Oh, so I could drop underwater combat. All right, so let's take a look at what these are. I'm, I'm, I don't think underwater combat is going to survive this. I think I'm going to drop it to get a plus two in one of the other ones. So let's see what we've got here first. It looks like leadership is going to come up first. You are skilled and a recognized leader, able to inspire confidence and determination in others under your guidance. When you are the leader of a team, you can give your teammates additional determination. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. All right. Now I think next up will be power. So let's find what power does. Power. The specialty group covers various powers. See the powers chapter and requires ability tests of different sorts, particularly offensive powers. Add your specialty bonus to ability test for that power. Ooh, so let's add each power is a separate specialty. Wait. That requires ability to test a different offensive powers using prowess and coordination for attacks. Each power ha is a separate specialty. Blast, fire control, etc. Add your specialty bonus to ability test for that power. The specialty does not increase power levels or their effects, but does apply tests. Interesting. All right, so which power? Let's add that to mental. All right, so that's what that specialty is. All right, now let's look at technology. Add your specialty bonus to tests involving creating, repairing, or working with technology. Cool. Kind of fits it for that. And science. All right. So we have got a trained person. Let's actually, let's go look at our attributes. I want to make sure I understand what my awareness means here. So let's take a look at, let's fill in. Our prowess is considered above average all right and our coordination is considered exceptional or is considered good uh, all right hold on this, I, the words, I, I got the words wrong. Fair. And then here is five is good, which is exceptional human. My strength is fair. So it's above air. So three is the average, right? My intellect. This is really funny considering um, 
<laughs> technology and science, but my intellect is poor. <laughs> okay. My awareness is incredible. Um, all right. And then my, where am I at text? My willpower is poor. This is pretty funny. All right. So I am. Yeah, it really doesn't match up, dude. I'm going to, it's going to be a challenge for me to figure out how I'm going to justify this. I agree. <laughs> B. Um, all right. So now let's figure out exactly what each Maybe he's used the text that he didn't invent. That's what I was thinking. Or or he's a savant. Yep. I was thinking maybe he did not invent this stuff. All right. Um, so he, that's how he got this stuff. But um, all right. Let's take a look at um, what did I want to look at? Um, oh, I, want to, I want to find out what awareness is. Awareness is perception, attention to detail, and wits. Uh, so he's going to need some sort of mechanism for awareness, which can tie to his emotional control. Um, hey, Loki. Yeah, man. Uh, usually it's much later, isn't it? But uh, it's a Saturday, so uh, we can do it. Uh, we're, making, uh, we're making a superhero randomly. So, Loki, we need your help. Uh, these have all been rolled randomly. We're going to try to piece this together into something that's actually uh, matters. So this is the origin for this hero is trained, which means he himself has no powers, right? So anything that we see for him that gets higher than like that is some sort of power or ability that's high, like his awareness is at a superpower level of seven. We have to say that it's uh, some sort of mechanism or, or gimmick or a uh, gadget or something that does it for him. So everything, his other attributes were fine with, um, though he seems to be a kind of a gadget guy and his intellect is poor. So we're, we're thinking that maybe he didn't make whatever these gadgets are, um, that maybe somebody else invented them though. His specialties are technology and science. So maybe he's gotten better with them because he uses them. That's what I'm thinking. All right. So his powers is emotional control. So he has the ability to like in, in, imbue emotions into a, uh, into somebody, which I'm thinking whatever gadget does that could tie to his awareness of seven, right? So whatever this thing that allows him to tie in and, and affect them emotionally and like make them feel terrified or make them feel scared or happy <coughs> or angry um, is the same thing. It allows him to have really great awareness of his surroundings. Um, it maybe allows him to tie like a hive tie to their brains. That's something. Let's hold on to that. And then he's got power mimicry, which means that he can touch somebody else and mimic their power. Um, so let's think so he can mimic somebody's powers that could tie to the brain, right? So he can tie in and like pick up their, the memory of their power or the memory of the origin and something. Um, let's see. All right. I got a name. Drum roll. Are you ready? That's his name. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> He's head case. He is head case. He can get into people's minds. He can affect their um, perception. He can uh, see through their eyes. That's where the awareness, high awareness comes from. And he can so get into your head that if you're a super and you have a special ability or a power, he can mimic it. Um, and I'm thinking it's some sort of, it'll be built into maybe like a helmet. So I think he's got like a helmet that someone made for him that allows him to, to do all of this 
all of this stuff. But yeah, that's our hero's name. His name is Headcase. <laughs> the Empathizer. That's pretty good too, Loki. Um, oh, so we didn't figure out... Let's go back. We didn't do his stamina and his determination. So let's go back and let's review how that's done real quick. Um, so let's go to qualities. Uh, we just do need to figure out his quality. So... Um, Okay, determination is six minus the number of powers, so his determination is going to be four. And he's got that leadership ability um, that, uh, like a Mazo, nice. Good call, B. Um, so he's got that, plus he's got the leadership ability that allows to give other players determination, which are kind of like Bennies uh, in Savage Worlds, I think. And then his stamina is strength plus willpower. So it's going to be four, plus, that's his hit points, basically, is six. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Headcase. All right, so let's think about his qualities. Um, so let's go back. How many qualities do you come up with? Choose three qualities. So what are three qualities for Headcase? Um, what drives you? What gets you into trouble? What do you do? Um... What is distinctive about you? Hmm. Hmm. What are some... Uh, somewhere, I think, they mentioned that your attribute of seven... Oh, it knocks a determination point? Where are you getting all this from, Jim? Damn it all. Why am I not seeing this? I'm a little annoyed... So we pick out the power type. All right, let's go to the example. Figure out his origin, phase two is, all right, his attributes. So we, he, we do that. Phase three is powers. Brandon rolls a number of powers on the table and gets three powers. And he rolls in the power type table and the individual power subtables. Followed by level determination for each. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that, Jim. Where Do you know where you saw that, Jim? Where the seven gets rid of a determination? Let's go back to determination. Subtract the hero's total number of powers from six to get the hero's determination level with a minimum of one. Keeping in mind that each attribute... Oh, it's right there in front of my face. Sorry, Jim. Uh, counts as a power. All right, so that counts as a power. So his determination is actually three. So the answer to the, my question, Jim, was it was right in front of my uh, fat face. All right, so my determination is only three. All right. This is what I get for skimming, um, which I do all the time. I'm a bad, I'm a bad skimmer. All right, so head case. All right, let's think of our qualities for head case. So we're going to go back to qualities. Um, what are some qualities? And these are things that I would like invoke to, to potentially give me some advantages. Um, so I'm thinking he is... Thin-skinned, right? So in my mind, he is super sensitive. He's super sensitive about his intellect being so low. Um, and so, like, if he gets made fun of um, or is made to feel be made to feel stupid, it, 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 he does not react well. Uh, so I think he's thin-skinned. So that's one quality. Um, I think he's empathetic. And let's see what drives him. Maybe he has an urge to help people that are that are really down. I'm thinking that too, Loki. That's where my empathetic is coming from. Um, and let's let's take yours and make it a third quality, which is fight for the helpless. Right. So one thing that's super important to him is any the downtrodden, the helpless. 
that's who he likes to fight for. So that those are his thin those are his three qualities for head case. Um all right, so then we would get game master approval. There's this whole thing about how you could do this point base, which I think is really neat. Um and then it goes into the example. I just we flipped through it. Let's just quickly take a quick look at the optional ones that we didn't do. Um and let's see if any of those would have been a little bit more interesting. I'm trying to think of what I would do, you know, with the regular camping group here. Um, so what is our first proportional specialties rather than rolling for the number of specialties you had had of track. So this, he would have ended up with a ton of specialties. Uh, his arch enemy would be like some emotionless big money dude. Yeah. So thinks he's right into, yeah. Yep. Yep. I think so. I think it would be like anybody who's in a position of power. So somebody who is a powerful person who likes to really like victimize um, uh, and, you know, prey on the weak, I think would definitely be his uh, arch enemy. I agree. Um, here, actually, let's do this for kicks and giggles. Let's look at the pre-made ones real quick. Uh, let's look at adversaries and see which adversary best fits them. So I'm just going to look at their qualities. Uh, Ape Shall Rise Again, Rebel Primate, Southern Gentleman, nah. Uh, infamous World Legacy, Master of the Evil Eye, Ruthless and Cunning Schemer. Maybe he stole the tech from there. Somehow it's keyed to a genetic marker that he was trained by the company to use. Very interesting. Um, the Creeper. Green world endures, growing beyond who he was. Smarter than you think. No, the creeper sounds a little bit more like uh, headcase. Gillamaster, um, hungerous for power, poisonous traitor, sworn to destroy the chosen one. No, grudge fueled by rage. Uh, Solomon Grundy, thank you very much. Uh, speed demon, devilish, faster than hell, outrunning his past. Is that the last one? No, that's weird. Paging is getting weird. What the heck is going on? Close. Is that the problem? All right, let's just go full page. Screw it. And then I want to go view, zoom, fit visible. No, view. Fit height. Thank you. All right. Speed Demon. Troll. Loves a good fight. Mercenary monster. Nobody stops the troll. None of these are kind of fitting my uh, arch enemy idea. Ultramind. Beyond human weakness. Trained brain in a tank. Highly evolved. Evolutionary biologist. Victor Slang developed methods to rapidly force evolution, bypassing millions of years of natural selection. Um... Ultramind seeks to increase his own power either through artificial enhancements or by further evolving into what he believes will be his ultimate state, a godlike being of pure mental energy. So he's got telepathy, telekinesis, and mental blast. Eh. War Bride. Bride of Battle, Sisterhood Apostle, Scalpel of Civilization. Century says Chosen Woman. Could be War Bride because she's like the best of the best. <laughs> All right. I've got another book of adversaries that i've ordered of course because i have a problem but uh anyway let's go back to our buddy head case and uh i th that could be fun uh at the camping trip i think jim uh doing this building that up but it was kind of fun to kind of piece it together and you got a little bit of flexibility like um what did i say uh i was that's right the reason i was able to do well actually i didn't do this yet did i i was going to get rid of underwater combat and then give a a level two on one of these other specialties i'd probably do it to power um or maybe the leadership would be even more interesting <laughs> But um, yeah, drop a special day. So there's some neat, even though there's randomness, there's some neat flexibilities in there. Um, that's cool. That's cool. And um, the mechanics on it are very fate-like. They're very simple. 
um, which is cool. Anyway, uh, it was fun hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> so take care, everybody. Thanks again.